everyone. In today's Ask an Expert section, we'll be going over a topic that comes up quite often during some of my customer conversations. What are some of the best practices to monitor vSAN? Although vSAN is quite easy to deploy and manage, there are quite a few reasons that they, that they can cause failures and performance issues within an environment. Uh, this could either be due to a host, device, or a network failure. When it comes to the host or device, you may first want to check the disk. Check for the disk, disk group congestions. In the vSAN health service, the health check will be green for congestion values below 200, yellow for 200 to 220, and red for anything over 220. There could be many reasons for this. Bad controller drivers. That's the first thing you want to check. Low queue depth. Or flash cache that is not sized correctly. Typically, the recommended cache to capacity ratio is 1 is to 10. So look for latencies in cache and capacity disks as well. Secondly, look for networking issues. Identify if the vSAN port group packets have been dropped or if there's any other network latency. Thank you.